This is a quick tutorial on how I made the visualizer in my song Dreams. You'll download a file that will come into a zip. You'll open it up, it's called 24 7 Visualizer. It'll come out into a folder like this. You simply double click on it. And the first thing you want to do is go to the font folder. That's going to have the font in it. You're going to click on that, copy it. If you have a Mac like me, you're going to click Library and your fonts are all here. Just going to click on that, drop it in there. Once that's done, you're going to open up the AEP file for After Effects, which will be in File. Double click that. Mine's not going to do anything because I already have it open, so I'm just going to X this out. Click on there, and this is what you should come to when you open the file. First things first, when you're editing it, you want to make sure you have text tool highlighted, not this selection tool. You're going to click on Song double click it, make sure it's highlighted, type in the name of your song mine's called Dream then you're going to go Artist, double click on that, type in your name once that's done in order for the spectrum to work you're going to need an mp3 or a wave or whatever your audio is so you're going to double click on here that's going to import the file I've already got mine all set up I believe so I should just have to click on it right there dream hit open it's gonna import it now from there you're gonna need to drag it down into the session so that you have it once you have it down here you just simply want to click on this arrow drop it down to the audio and then into the waveform and you should be able to see on your screen the waveform that you know that it's working now that you have the waveform playing, you're going to need the audio spectrum to read it. So you want to click on the audio spectrum, go to effects, click effects control, then it will bring it up in here. On your audio layer, make sure you have your mp3 or whatever audio file you need selected. If not, then it's not going to read it and you won't have an audio spectrum playing, you just have a bunch of dots next thing you want to do is just drag this across somewhere in the track and if it's working you should see them pop up like that so I know that's working next thing is if you want to change the color you click on outside color right here make sure you don't move this in the in this little box if you want to change the color grab this slider slide it up and down let's say you want to go with blue we'll put it at blue we'll hit OK now if you see there's a little gradient in the background so we need to change that color too so you just click on background gradient drop down the arrow drop down the layer styles arrow drop down the gradient arrow and then you're going to click edit gradient under where it says colors double click on that and the same thing you don't want to go inside this box to change the color you simply want to just move this slider up to that exact same blue color hit OK and now you can see the backgrounds change to blue now you're going to drag all these sliders back up until you get back to this screen last thing is there's an there's also a little bit of color on the artist's name so drop that down go to the outer glow click on color there and it's, it's really slight you probably won't be able to see it but you look carefully when I drag this up it will change from red to blue hit OK now everything's matching you can close out of this because you're done with that and from here you're going to want to render it so you want to go to composition actually before you render it if your song is longer or shorter than four minutes go to composition settings right here in duration change it so it's the same amount of time as your song I like to add a four or five seconds at the end just so it doesn't clip any of the song off once that's the right time you're gonna hit OK then you're gonna go back to composition you're gonna go make movie that's gonna bring up the render queue that's the old one that I made so I'm gonna delete that first is your output you wanna click on that open it up output I normally just drop it on the desktop it's the easiest thing so I'm just going to put Dream, YouTube, hit save. That's not really saving it, that's just showing it where to save. Next thing is your output settings. Um, you want to go to FLV, right there. 
I always take off the project link, you don't really need it. Check your audio output, make sure it's as high as it can go, so 256 is the highest that will go. OK, OK. Hit render, from there it's going to render, depending on how fast your computer is, it could take 8 hours. Did on my old PC on this, it will only take about an hour or two, which is good. Um, once that's done, it will be on your desktop. I've already done it, so I'm just going to hit stop here. And then when you open it up, you'll get your song playing. And you'll have the spectrum on it. And that will go along with the beat. So um, everyone, please subscribe, like. And also check out my other channel, youtube.com forward slash idj247. That's got all my music on it. If you have any questions, ask them below in the comment section.